Moças, rapazes, prendam a respiração porque ele está de volta. Ethan Hunt. Lá vem Tom Cruise mais frenético que nunca, gente. Missão Impossível, efeito Fallout, sexto episódio dessa franquia. Your mission. Should you choose to accept it? I wonder. Did you ever choose not to? E para te contar os detalhes desse filme, sabe para onde eu fui? Para Paris, mon chéri. Então bora lá, que eu vou te mostrar como foi uma missão muito difícil realmente falar com o elenco desse filme. You are the first director to helm a Mission Impossible movie two times in a row. Yes. What made you come back again this time? Um, Tom made me come back. I was very resistant. I was I was nervous really? about coming. Yes, I was. Well, I was you nervous. Did a great because, job. Uh, well, and I and I had a fun time, and I love working with Tom. But I was. I uh, fans of the franchise have come to expect a different director every time, and uh, and so I said I'll come back, but I want to. I want to maintain that aesthetic. I wanted to feel like a different director. So it was kind of challenging because I was having to figure out how to do things in a way I wouldn't normally do them. That's the job. Um, speaking of location, one of the characteristics of the um, uh, franchise is the variety of scenarios around the globe. And this time, Ethan Hunt is almost in the entire move in Paris. Uh, why you? you You took this decision, and why Paris? Uh, well, I, I wanted to spend more time in each location. We went to New Zealand because that was the only place that would let us shoot the helicopter sequence that we were planning. It was a pretty crazy sequence. London, the movie is based there, and we, 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 we and, and then Paris. I decided in November of 2015, uh, with everything that was going on in the city, that I wanted to, I wanted to bring the movie here and show a, and show another side of Paris, the Paris that I know. And how about Tom? Because he does all of his uh, stunts, and weren't you afraid of something happened to him? And always, yes. I mean, always, always a little bit nervous, a little bit anxious. But I'm not. I'm not as worried when Tom is the one in control. When Tom's driving the car or the motorcycle or even flying the helicopter, I, I know how focused and dedicated he is, how careful and how disciplined he is. It's when there are other variables, when there are other helicopters, other cars. That's when things get. Very, very nerve-wracking. How much of the uh, stunts you did yourself? I did 95.76% of the stunts. <laughs> really? Yes. That's nice. And was it, is it common to you to, to do your own stunts and your movies? For me, How was it's, it this it's time? not necessarily common because it's difficult to actually have producers allow you to do stunts, yeah. but you come onto a Mission Impossible movie and Tom's doing all the stunts anyway, so they're going to let you do the stunts as well. For, so for me, that was very, very exciting to come onto here and have the opportunity to learn how to do these things, and it's been a wonderful learning experience for me. And now that I've done this, I can kind of force other movies to do it for me as well. And you invited her Cavill by Instagram Yes. I follow you on Instagram, <laughs> and I thought, oh my, oh my God, this is so nice, yes. Oh, uh, that was a lot of fun. How was it? Oh, it was great. <laughs> Henry, is that, is that true? Henry's just got a, he's just got a great sense of humor, and uh, and he was so wonderful about it, and it was just, that's one of the, I don't know if you follow Henry on Instagram. Yes, yeah, true. His social media presence is so great, yeah. he's so funny, and he's got such a great interaction with the fans, and I just love it. To be working with someone like Chris McQuarrie, who's an amazing writer and an incredible director, on a movie like Mission Impossible with Tom was just it's one of those things which which you would never pass up. E eu tô aqui na Premier Mundial de Missão Impossível feito Fallout que estreia no dia 26, não perca. Estou aqui em Paris, em plena praça de trocadeiro e aqui mesmo eu comecei uma campanha, guarda isso, hein, meu povo. Comecei uma campanha com Tom Cruise e com Christopher Maguire, diretor. Sabe de quê? Acho que vocês vão gostar. Olha só. Well, I forgot to ask you one question yesterday. Um, Rebecca Ferguson uh, said to me yesterday to ask you to shoot the next Mission Impossible 
because of course you're gonna have it and of course you're gonna direct it oh, God. Um, in Brazil isn't that a good idea the second person you are the second person who has asked me to do that really yes so, yes uh, okay well it's that, that's that's a good start of a petition I will uh, I'll talk to Tom about that is it a promise it's a promise that I'll talk to Tom about. Yes, we looked at Brazil for this movie. Can you imagine Tom in Sugar Loaf jumping everything? Well, you know what he's going to do if he comes to he comes to Rio. There's that. You know, what else are you going to do? Yeah. Go, go, go! What are you waiting for? And I, I'm starting um, a campaign with Christopher McGuire uh, to shoot the next Mission Impossible movie, and I hope you will be there. And in Brazil, don't you think it's a love that? I think that's an excellent idea. You know, you, yeah, you have an iconic, you know, <laughs> you know piece, of, piece of art there, so, yeah. So you have to be there. I want to be there. I want to applaud the sunset. Well, that sounds like a good idea. We've had a lot of requests today, but Brazil is definitely near, is on the, is on the possible list. It's definitely, it's not in the no list because we've never been there before. Australia were going on about it and I said, look, we've been there, number two, you're not a priority at the moment. I'd love to go back, I love Australia, but we haven't been to Brazil, so maybe yes. That's beautiful, it's marvelous. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I hope to see you there. Okay, sure, but don't quote me on that. Just in case, because I, I don't make those kind of decisions. I'm not. I'm just a lowly. Christopher McGuire and Tom Cruise, they seem oh, to like. Yeah. If they're, they're okay, whether you're fine with them, yeah. they're the boss. I will see you there. I'm just a, like a kind of a grunt, you know. I just do what I'm told. No hard feelings. It's so nice when it's so nice to meet you here in Paris, but it's so good when you go to Brazil. Why not this time? You know, just timing on this and the studio. They're the ones that are working the schedule out. I, I always want to go back to Brazil. I yeah. love it there. Yes, yes we well, will. We'll go again. Good. Maybe we need to reconsider that. And I'm starting a campaign with Christopher Maguire, and I asked him to to shoot the next Mission Impossible movie in Brazil. Yes. I if know that he loves it. They'll give us good permits to go and let me fly helicopters down through the street and stuff. Will they do that? Sugar. No. Can I fly jets very low through the streets? Of course not. And sugar loaf to jump. I, they have to, to let me up. do that. They have sure. to let me do that. If they, yes, they yes it'd be fun. Please. <laughs> it's a promise? I can't promise, but I will say we'll uh. try. Showtime. Oh my god. Tom Cruise realmente é um cara muito fora da curva, né? É muita disciplina, gente, muita dedicação para fazer tudo isso que ele faz. Eu admiro muito e adoro o Tom, adoro a franquia e o filme tá demais. Corre lá para ver.